Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm sorry, I'm still obsessed with this little cute mug. I love it, but yeah. Happy Monday. I am so tired. I can't sleep on a Sunday night. I don't know what it is. I was just looking at the clock last night and it was like half one. I was like, I need to go to bed. But I've got an exciting coffee this morning. Let me show you. We did an espresso order and they had some new, those who wants to sniff it of course, they had some new coffee and we got pumpkin spice cake and they also had gingerbread but I'm saving that for the pumpkin spice cake. I had one today. I've had one all like last week as well and it's so good. Mm. I just hate having caffeine. Mm. I hate having caffeine, I don't really have it a lot because it sets my anxiety off and it gives me really bad heart palpitations so I've tried not to add too much because last week I wasn't very well but yeah, starting off the morning strong with a nice pumpkin spice cake coffee but yeah, I thought I'd do a cute vlog this week not really doing anything but I kind of like the cozy days at home and we've been doing well I say we Owen has done the office floor we have a new floor which is exciting and I think I'm gonna paint my dining chairs white and get some cute seats for them because I want to replace them but we're just not gonna have the money for that because we want to do up the kitchen we want to tile it we want a breakfast bar and we want to do like the hallway tiles so I was like you know what I'm going to do a DIY, so we're going to have a few, hopefully, like doing the office, the floor's nearly done, but the skirting boards went straight, and obviously that's what we get for getting a new build, um, but yeah, hope you enjoy, I don't know what we're going to do together, but hopefully it's fun. Also, ignore how dark my eyebrows are, I just dyed them, I left the dye on a bit long, and I also dyed my hair again last week. Do you know really funny? The fact that I tried to dye my hair dark in like March and now I'm literally back really blonde again. I can't help it. I, mean, I feel like I need to have like a little blonde Kim K era because I'm just not ready to give it up. This girl sounds so weird, but my friend who also dyed her hair blonde then went dark, then went blonde again. I was like, I felt so ordinary with dark hair, which is so weird because I'd had dark hair before and like I'd didn't feel like that like i look pictures i look back at pictures in like 20 20 20 21 when my hair was a bit darker and i feel like i looked really good in them pictures granted i was a stone liar but i have also nearly lost the stone so let's not dwell let's just keep going um but yeah i don't know i feel like i need to tone it a little bit more with some purple shampoo but i feel like i'm just going to stay blonde stay blonde for a while because there's no point putting my eye through that again. I've literally got my little favourite autumn candle light in. This is cinnamon pumpkin. Oh, it just makes the room smell so nice. I feel like I've had that on all weekend. Put it there. <laughs> also, I can't believe I'm in a hoodie. It's finally cold enough to be wearing a hoodie in the house because I'm not putting the heating on yet. I'm delusional. I also, I'm not paying for that. But I wanted to show you a cute little book haul. I did a little order and I got all these books for £12. How good is that? Oh, I also did my first book video last week. Let me know if you enjoyed it. I feel like right now the views are literally like 10 people have watched it. But you know what? I'm okay with that because I just really want to start doing some book videos. I might do like one recap every month of all the books i've read although i normally read about 40 so i'm like how long would that video be unless i just do like my top reads of the month but yeah anyway i got four books from the works um i've already read the elsie silver chestnut spring series but i heard that they had these in the works for six pound for free and i went into two near me i went to one in cheshire oaks 
couldn't find it anywhere. It was advertised in the window, but not in the store. So you know what I was like, I'm gonna go online, I'm just gonna treat myself. Because Heartless, this one is one of my favorite books. Um, I love Flawless. The one that came out recently, Reckless, I love that. They don't have it yet, but um, I'll buy that one. And then Hopeless comes out in October, which is literally next week, October. How scary is that? But yeah, my least favourite is Powerless. And can someone tell me why? Because I keep seeing people love that book, but I just could not engage with it at all. I don't know what it was, but all the rest of the books I loved. But I want, I just want the whole series. I am going to read it again though and give it another go because I might change my mind. But yeah, I got... If you have not read this, please do because I love this. First one is, I think... Oh God. Summer and red i think and it's like his dad is his her dad is this bull rider's manager and she has to work with him i think that's the gist powerless is like um two childhood best friends apparently i don't remember that I thought they just like, oh, I had a crush from afar. But he helps her like run away from a wedding and they go on a road trip. Kind of vibe and think he's a ice hockey player. And then this is single dad, my favourite. But yeah, I thought I'd treat myself because I want to get some shelves either side of the TV. Sometimes I regret not getting a big like unit, but I don't think this room is big enough and it would take away some space. You know what I mean? Like if we brought... If you do a unit like that, you're bringing the wall, like, out. Out. And I feel like this room isn't big enough and we need to have it, like, a dining, living area. Um, But, yeah, I'm happy with them. And I can't believe I got them for literally £2 each. What a steal. And then I thought I'd treat myself. I don't have any of the other paperbacks, but I have read this series by Lucy Score. I think it's... Is it Knock em Out? Is that how you pronounce it? The place? But, yeah... This series for me is like, I enjoyed them, but I didn't love this series. But I don't know. This book is like Enemies to Lovers. The first book I gave a four, a four, which is Things We Left Behind in the Blue. And I did really enjoy that. I thought, I don't know, I feel like that is still my favourite. And then the next one, I think I gave a three. I just couldn't engage with it again. I don't know why. This one, 3.5. Um, do you know what? I love enemies to lovers, but their constant bickering in this made me a little bit bored. Do you know what I mean? When the constant bickering just gets a bit annoying. Like, I like it when they're enemies, but it's not just, like, back and forth constantly. I just find it boring. Like, I don't know. I kind of like it when... I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But I like Enemy Slovers, I love that trope, but this one was just a bit, the back and forth was just a bit, okay, bored it's now. Um, but I did enjoy it, but the first one is still my favourite, but I need to get them all. Because I did enjoy it, like overall it's a nice series, characters are nice, I like the place, but yeah. I feel like overall the series is probably a 3 point, a 3.8, I'll give it a 3.8, which is my rating if I find something cute. And it's, I'm like, yeah, it's cute. I enjoyed it. It's a 3.8. And Elsie Silver, I feel like 4.2, 4.3. Because Heartless is like a 5. Reckless and Flawless were up there. But we'll see. That series hasn't ended yet, though. But yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed six minutes of me talking about four books. Here is the floor that we have in a lot of our rooms, which we are... We actually are going to change the floor in here. We're going to change the floor in the hall as well. But this is the floor that we had in the office. And now I'll show you the new one. Oh, <laughs> Owen's already made a mess. <laughs> but here is the new floor. What do you think? You just need to ignore the sides. The um, skirting boards aren't even. Let me put the light on. Um, but yeah, that's the floor. Where's it from? Is anyone's interested? <laughs> You're a home? Um, I don't really know. I'll have to ask Owen. But yeah, what do you all think? 
I think it's really nice. I feel like it complements the black a bit better. I'm still not sure on the black sometimes. Yeah, but I feel like we still need to get lampshades for every single light as well, which is so annoying. <laughs> I always forget. And now I'm just in here and I'm like, oh my God, we've been here a year. We could have at least gotten one. Hello. But yeah, Owen spent all Sunday doing this. How has he got a bin full already? But yeah, Owen spent all of Sunday doing this. And yeah, let me know what you all think. We've also moved the TV down. Owen needs to hide them wires. They annoy me so much. So we need to fill in that. I've taken off our uni things on the wall because I feel like this room is just, it's too small to have them like big uni things on the wall. I feel like when we have a bigger house, hopefully in a few years, then maybe we can put them back. But I'm going to remove these ones as well. Um, find somewhere else. Or I might replace what's in the frames. And maybe put them on this little landing bit here. Ignore that. That is literally everything. All our bookcases and that. But yeah. This is the office. New office floor. So, we are getting our big monthly food shop tomorrow. We always get it on the 26th. 6th? 6th? So, tomorrow, we are getting our big monthly food shop. So, that means I kind of need to go through the cupboards, see what we've got, fill up some jars. I like to do a big monthly shop where, like, we'll spend, like, 250 £300 and literally stock up like i want 10 boxes of cereal sat under the stairs so i don't have to go and buy more because when we don't get enough food we just go out and spend money and then when you're at the shop you know you see everything else and you're like oh i could have that and that we're just suckers for that so yeah we've got a huge shop coming hopefully and i've ordered like all our like laundry pods and stuff so we shouldn't run out we already have quite a lot but again i mean we keep saying that we should just go to costco and like stock up on some stuff but we went to the one in saint helens and they just had it sounds really sad i don't know why i'm obsessed with cereal but they just didn't have good cereal options and it upset me and we just got a load of special k and like after like the first box i was like i don't want this anymore <laughs> i'm just really picky but yeah, I need to sort out everything and see what we've got because I know that we have quite a few pastas still under the oven where I keep like all the storage stuff. And yeah, I'll put them in jars, see what we need and probably clean out the fridge ready. So all that boring stuff. But yeah, tomorrow I'll definitely show you what we get in our shop. I feel like I have gone overboard. This is the most that we've spent. We've never done one for 300. It's normally around 270 though. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get a load of extras because this month I feel like we just went to the shop too many times and wasted our money. And we didn't have enough food for Percy because we... You know when you get substitutes? I, just, I must have just forgot to click no. And they just gave us a load of food that Percy wouldn't eat. So I've just had to waste love money and then go out and buy him food anyway so yeah our jars are looking a bit sad also that cereal there is puffed wheat from Sainsbury's it's probably the worst cereal I've ever tried so yeah we're just not eating that but yeah this is where I like to keep all my little jars one day when we do the kitchen I want a big like loads of shelves with the jars on and then this will just be like a mug storage because our mugs are just everywhere <laughs> but yeah need to fill up some of these jars because i'm pretty sure i have this is my rice this is my rigatoni and that's whatever pasta shape i'm going for for the month which is currently the little bows i can't remember the name does it begin with an f maybe
Right, I've just realised that we're getting food chopped tomorrow. So that means we kind of need to eat up stuff that is taking some room or it's going to go out of date. So I've got some baby potatoes and some sweet potatoes. So I think I'm going to make some roast potato, probably some roast potatoes, maybe with some like garlic and stuff and then sweet potato fries, which is really weird. But Owen doesn't like roast potatoes, so he can have sweet potato fries. I might pinch a couple. And then I think we have like yellow rice and maybe a corn fillet or something. I don't really know. We sort of ran out of everything, obviously, because it's the day before our food shop. But yeah, let's see what we can do. I'm off to have lunch with some people from work, us Northerners, which is nice. Then I'm going to come back and I need to still do the kitchen because I didn't do it yesterday. The food shop's coming at like five. But yeah, I'm going to finish my work day off when I get back and then we'll sort that out. But now it's time for... I've been really loving Olivia Rodrigo's new album, but especially Logical and The Grudge. Like, I love a sad song. But yeah, so my hair's looking quite... Also, my foundation looks boring. <laughs> you can't win them all. I'm back and I got, they have at the Hungry Horse pubs this new like Homer Simpson donut. Also, I don't like them. I don't like the food there anymore. They had some new salt and pepper chips. They just weren't nice. The halloumi wasn't nice. So I didn't really eat anything for my lunch. So I'm starving. So I got this to take away. My boss said that I should try it because she really wants to try it. So, I don't know how to get this out because it kind of got squished in the car and the cream is melted. Oh, hey, it was ice cream. Oh no. Well, I've just ruined it. I thought it was cream in the middle, that's why I brought it home. I didn't realise it was. Gonna be all melted. We'll try it anyway. Oh my god, that's really good. Mmm. Mmm. It's massive though. I don't know if I'll be able to eat that. But I can't believe I didn't realise it was ice cream. I was like, it's cream. I've had a half an hour drive home. I should have read what it said on the menu. Oh. Still, it doesn't look too bad. God. Also, our food shop, um, some of Percy's treats didn't make the cut, so I'm gonna have to go out <laughs> and buy him some treats. He does have some though. It's just like, I don't know. He does have some treats left, so I'll wait probably a week and then on the weekend I'll get him some. Shops here, let's put it away. I forgot to add any fizzy drinks and I can't live without Coke. How embarrassing. So I'm gonna quickly meet my mum at the shop, but I'm gonna show you all the frozen stuff and I'll show you the rest when we get back. I got some Linda McCartney sausages some ice creams um crisp baked onion rings chips and then fries i've got a steam bag because owen really likes this uh, the fries yeah i got corn mince and fillets and um, they had an offer to get like this brand so we got some of the veg 
I got some chicken burgers for Owen. And then these are like £1.15. I feel like they're a good like little quick meal. Um, fancy a little pizza. And then I got Owen a nice garlic bread. And I actually think that's the only frozen food I got. And I'm quite proud of that. Because everything else, you know. Mutton fresh. And that's not bad. Oh, wait, I feel like I'm missing stuff though. I feel like I've not done well with this food shop today. I also just got a margarita as well, which I completely forgot about. But I mean, I might have this tonight. We can have it. Maybe. We just got back from Asda because I forgot to put any pop in our order. <laughs> so I got two fruit twists and three because that's all they had. I've got about 70. Coke, no, cat Coke, zero caffeine free. Got three of them, what they had left. Then we run out of mayo. And then our goodie bag treats weren't in the order. They got, and I forgot to click substitute, of course. And then I couldn't help myself. I got some vegan marshmallows, some dandies. Yum. And now I'll show you what our actual Tesco order is. If Percy Mooses. Look at all this. <laughs> I put some of the fridge stuff away, but not all of it, and I forgot. So it's been on the floor for 20 minutes. Right, let me show you everything. You get one of these every month for Percy. It always lasts, which is good. Then I've got so many snacks. These are just um, sausages for a wine. Then I got all the minis, all the good low calorie stuff mini gingerbreads mini party rings too many fingers because they're my fave quavers and skips hula hoop puffs i love these i don't know why i just do bananas which are very not right asparagus and tender stem what's this dishwasher pods bread mini jammies and some bourbons come out myself. Ooh, I've knocked my pepper over. M&M's, they're for our little date night on the weekend. Uh, pet odor, I'm going to put this in there above his like litter station. Mini Freddos, I thought they'd be really nice to melt on porridge. Um, twirls and dairy milk. Got this, this sounded quite nice, his little spray. I always get lemonades because it's just a good mixer for alcohol and they were literally well cheap. A few eggs. What's here? Wraps. And then for cereals, I've got Rice Krispies. I think I've got two of them because I really like them. And then I always get a couple chocolate ones. I thought we could try these Kit Kat ones. And then I've got these Cocoa Pops Mega Pops. I've got some popcorn for our little date night on the weekend crisps are these baked walkers and then i got some of these these are my favorite crisps so i got two of them one's on the floor i got brioche buns for owen i don't know what's in that actually a lime for a stew onions and sweet potatoes rigatoni all of percy's soups that he has uh just tablets Angel Delight, of course. What's it? Why did I buy so many crisps? I don't remember buying that many. Kitchen roll. This is my favourite pasta of the month. And then I got loads of cereal bars because I'm obsessed with having them for breakfast. Because they're literally only like 80 calories or something. Um, I think there's some garlic there. Flatbread, pita bread, dreamies. And now what we've got? Cheese, muller. They're just toilet trees. Um, we like wood pellet. What do you call them? Just this kind of litter, the wood. Cornflakes, multigrain hoops. Oh, there's another multigrain hoops behind the cornflakes. Ignore Percy's like little litter thing. It annoys me, but it's just there. What else have we got? I got two bottles of nasty because it's like four pound and it always makes me a bit tipsy. Um, pasta sauces, soya. I got a vanilla soya over there. Kit Kat wipes, toilet roll, mini cheesecakes. Uh, lettuce, which, do you know what? I don't really like fruit and veg fresh from Tesco. Because, like, look at the state of that. Naan bread, fabric conditioner, coconut milk and stuff like that. Butter, um, toilet cleaner, cleaner, wipes, some salt, 
pads, stuff like that. Um, I got like Head and Shoulders because Owen just really likes it. I don't know why. Like two in one is my idea of hell. And then I got this because it was like a powder. And I was like, if he runs out of that, he's got that for the month because that is expensive. I just got some simple and then a Dove body wash because I love the Dove one. Um, I got a cheap garlic bread as well as the easy one I got. Um, halloumi, tzatziki, hummus, ham. These baked potatoes are my favourite. Goo cheese cakes for Owen and then the cheaper ones. <laughs> and then cheese. And yeah, not too shabby, not too bad. Got everything really. What's in that bag? A pepper, a red pepper. <laughs> Good morning. It is Thursday. I didn't vlog anything yesterday because I just had bad period pains. It's just one of them. But I did have a book delivery come yesterday. I've decided every month I'm going to treat myself to like two or three books or something like not too expensive, just some of my favourite reads. So then when I get my shelves, hopefully in November, I'm going to, I think. Once I sell this phone, because I'm going to get the new iPhone 15 Pro Max nearer the time, because now you can't get it until, like, the 15th of November. So I'm just like, ugh, I'm not going to pre-order it for, like, nearly two months away. But I'm going to get that, sell this, and then my birthday. So whatever money I have, I'm going to buy the shelves, I think. Um, just because I want them. And I want to put all my books nicely, but yeah. Here are the two books that I went for. This was on offer for £6. So I was like, I mean, I did love this book. But it's just because I have the actual series. You know, like, I got all the others the other day. So I was like, and then Hopeless comes out next month. So I'll get that next month. So I'll have, like, a full series on the shelf, which I love. And I probably will re... Like, I've already reread Heartless. I really want to reread... Um flawless again and i probably will read this but i have read this recently because it only came out like a month ago but yeah really enjoyed that it's about winter and theo and it's accidental pregnancy trope i want to say in like bull rider vibe and then this was only five pound for the paperback i mean granted it's not the biggest book but I love this book. I bought this on Kindle. And this is about a woman falls in love with this guy in Alaska. They have a child together. She realises this ain't a bit of me. So then, like, 18 years later, it's from the daughter's point of view, Kala. She hears that her father has cancer and she needs to go to Alaska to see him. And the grumpy guy that works for her father's plane company, like... It's just like grumpy sunshine, sort of enemies, and they fall in love. But it was a really nice book of her, like, meeting her father properly, because she hadn't seen him since he was, like, a year old, so she doesn't really remember him at all. I think they stopped having contact, but, yeah. It's about Kala and Jonah and, obviously, her father, but it was really good. I really enjoyed it. But, yeah, there were quite a few books of this couple in this series, and then... I think there was another, the last book is like starting onto another couple. But I probably will get all of them. Although one of them was only, I've not read any of the others. Because one of them was only 200 pages long. And like, I don't know why I hate reading things if they're not over 300 pages anymore. Because I feel like it's not worth it. I read it too fast. But I did really enjoy this. I don't know how many pages this is. I want to say like 300 and something. Nearly 400, 388. So that's a good that's a good amount, you know. I can read that in like two hours, three hours. But yeah, I've really, really enjoyed this book. Work is finally over. I'm so tired. I woke up in the middle of the night with really bad period pains and I was just up all night. So I feel like I also look really rough today. But that's okay with me. Mum was going to come and pick me up in like... 30 40 minutes and we're gonna go out but can anyone tell me if they also watched new heights new podcasts with the kelsey brothers <laughs> just because they said like a minute they spoke for a minute about taylor swift can anyone else tell me that they watched it as well because i need to know
because that's literally what I did. Literally what I did. I watched the whole thing, 62 minutes, whatever it was. Just because they mentioned Taylor Swift for a tiny second and I loved every minute. I need one. So soft. Mm. We've got a little joy. That's cute. I love Christmas. Oh my god. That gingerbread one is calling my name and also the Christmas tree. Bought Percy a new collar and he's not having any of it. But I only got two things from TK Maxx, but they are so cute. <laughs> Look! I couldn't resist. I had to get these little tea towels. Because they're so cute. And then, look at this mug I got. Also, the Harry Potter collection was only for dogs and it really upset me. But I did get him a cute colour, which I will show you once we get it on. But how cute is that? This was 5 99 and this was 4 99 So, it's only like £11. But how cute. I couldn't resist. I love it. But yeah. Cute little haul. Look at his little collar! How cute! It's got little rainbows on. <laughs> I just seriously cannot get over that mug. Like, how cute. I'm probably gonna get more, but I love it. Now, I'm just gonna make some pasta. I'm having separate pastas, because Owen wants rigatoni and I'm gonna have tagliatelle. And some corn mints. I'm gonna add some garlic, some chili. Spicy spag bar, basically. I'm excited about it. And that looks delightful. works done and it is finally time for my little diy so i'm painting the chairs white when we first moved in we bought a lot of the stuff we bought i had a different table so i all the glasses i bought like our old dining table or sofa like we bought a lot of stuff outright so we didn't have a lot of money left for chairs so these were only like 60 pound on ikea and they're all right i'm not gonna lie we don't really use our dining table if um, we have people around we do and that's not often and if we have like messy food that we just don't really want to eat like on the sofa we do use it but not often and I just don't I feel like the black it doesn't I feel like white would match this a lot nicer this is like a um, black brown I want to say but Owen's just put some su sugar scrub on this so I'm going to do the other two I'll have to leave the other one because I don't know where to put it and I don't have a lot of space. Just put it on an old rug and this. Um, but yeah, my mum and dad came around. They got me some wood primer and paint because they were just out. So I was like, help me out, please. So yeah, I'm going to use this 
put it on the other two, leave it half an hour and then prime them. And I'm hoping it looks all right. And then I think I'm going to get cute little cushions because I do want to get different chairs. But I'm not going to lie, that is probably not going to be for like another year or two. Because it's just like not on our radar, do you know what I mean? Really nice chairs are expensive. So I'm just going to try and make these work because they're all right. Especially if we're not sitting there. And there's other stuff I want to spend my money on, to be honest. I didn't get my perfect fantasy. I realise you love yourself more than you could ever love me. drying i think i'm gonna make a risotto for tea an asparagus and tomato risotto because i think our asparagus goes out of date yesterday <laughs> oh is that your new color i just don't know if i have everything to make one but oh when do they go out of date though these are my favourite things at the minute. That's <laughs> really close angle. From Tesco, these like baby potatoes with herb butter. I've got two of them, but I've got a couple days to eat them. room full of cat toys but two of them have had the first layer done needs to dry a bit and now i'm going to do the other two with the primer and then paint them tomorrow because you have to leave the primer on for ages um but yeah i can do that tomorrow morning and then hopefully like these two will also be done oh, i kind of need another mat though for the other chair because i've put them all a bit awkwardly and i can't move them because they're wet okay them two have had primer on these have got the first layer also, I never said it was actually the next day. It is actually Saturday. But yeah, I feel like we're getting somewhere now. I'm going to paint these again, probably now. I feel like they could have another layer and then we can see how it looks. And then the other two will be finished tomorrow. Have fun. I feel like we're getting somewhere. I feel like they look alright as well. Obviously, they need another layer, but I think they actually look nice. So, here are the chairs with three layers. These need two more layers. But, yeah, I think they're looking all right. I mean, they're still drying. They're not perfect. I need to sand some bits because it dripped a bit last night. But I thought they're looking cute and I'm going to get some cushions. But, yeah, I feel like it will look all nice once it's all done. But, yeah, but, yeah, this is my painting. Also, I am so pale because I've scrubbed off my tan. Like, my hair needs doing, everything needs doing. So you need to ignore the state of me. But I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I was gonna, I was gonna like make sure the chairs are all done beforehand, but you know, I wanna get this out for you today. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed and I'll probably see you next week for another vlog or something else if I have any ideas for any videos. <laughs> Bye.